We're Ulla and Josh, and we swapped the conventional four walls of our home by the sea for the adventure of living on a 60-foot narrowboat. Join us as we slow down and settle into our new life, travelling by water through the British countryside. used to steps are we? Not anymore. So we've made it to Hastings. We've been here a few days actually. Let me just hold it properly because it's going to wobble a lot. And this is actually a little laneway that we love to take that's very close to my parents house. Twitten as they're called by the way. Twitten. It's just on the edge of what's called the West Hill. So if you guys don't know Josh and I used to live in Hastings. I was born in Hastings. It's a place that we know and love very very well and uh, we're here for the next few days. We've been here for a few days already, catching up with friends, tying up loose ends, and getting puffed. <laughs> and get, and She's get, puffed out. And getting puffed out from all the stairs. Seriously, Hastings is built on seven hills, okay? But they're not just mini hills, they're massive hills. But it's beautiful here. I mean, just look at this. This is where we used to live. Oh, hey there, don't mind me. <laughs> I'm just looking at the sunset. So yeah, we're here for the next few days. Also seeing friends and seeing my mum and dad. And it's just, yeah, it's been super lovely so far. Tomorrow morning, we're going to go and meet our friend Joe for a swim. <laughs> oh yeah, we're going to get jumping in, in there again. In that cold sea and then take it. you to one of our favourite breakfast spots. So that should be really lovely too. It's um, cool to have you along just briefly whilst we're here. And then obviously we'll be back to boat life. I've still got more hills to climb, you know. Now after that very mini walk up the hill, we've made it to the top of the West Hill, which is a spot that happens to be one of my favorite spots in Hastings. You get up here and you see the expanse before you, which is the sea. We're looking at it right now, sea everywhere. And uh, below that is the old town. It's a pretty cool spot up here. You can see everything, you can see for miles. We'll have to show them then. There we are. Not bad, eh? This is just one of the awesome hills, isn't it? Yeah, it's lovely. When we lived here before, we used to live on the East Hill. So right ahead there is the East, we're on the West. And just further up that way was where we lived in our house that we sold to live on a boat. As you can see, it is incredibly peaceful down here. It's one of my favorite places to come to. It's called Rockanore. I don't know if you can hear me over those very tiny little waves lapping there, but it's beautiful down here. Good morning, morning. Hello. Great way to start the day, huh? Beautiful day. What are you up to anyway? You look like you're dressed for something. <laughs> I'm overdressed, it's so warm. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna go jump in the sea. We're meeting a friend and uh, gonna get some brekkie too. Doing what you do best. What you loved doing when you lived here.
this is uh, just what we needed really. Do you miss it? I do miss being able to jump in the sea every day. You could jump in the canal. No thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I've done it. A bit dirty. No, we were really lucky to live here for a time and it's a great place to come back to and look at this. It is beautiful. I'll leave you to get dressed. What you got yourself there, buddy? Uh, beautiful chai latte. Oh, and I've got a oat milk decaf latte. Just mm. hanging out the side here at the hatch. Yeah. To pick up our brekkie. Mm. Thank you very much. <laughs> For the next couple of days, we spent some time in one of our other favourite places in the UK, Glastonbury, and of course took mum and dad along for the ride. Like your methods, Josh. That's what happens when you're unprepared. Well done. <laughs> and you just rush out the house and use a pan instead. Totally robotic. down yeah please don't have any leaks <laughs> it feels like every time that we leave our boat and we come back to the boat there's always an issue there's a new issue isn't there there's something that's happened while we've been away last time we went to scotland didn't we we yeah. came back i don't we didn't make a big thing of it on the uh, vlog by the way because we didn't film anything because we were but, busy clear cleaning yeah, up yeah because we were busy trying to clean up i don't know how people vlog these situations i know it makes good good watching but still yeah we came back from Scotland and the roof was leaking so we're literally coming up to where we're parked maybe you can see something in a minute oh. hopefully there's nothing wrong with the boat there we go right so, where we left her uh -huh. 
So yeah, fingers crossed. Oh. All is okay. We shouldn't have this feeling coming back home. No. Soon we won't. Soon we'll all be settled. Hi. Look how packed it is. We need a trolley. Our trolley to get it all back to the boat. Voila. <laughs> Lifesaver, isn't it? Oh yeah. Really great, actually. A must-have if you're thinking of getting a narrowboat. Get yourself a trolley or a wheelbarrow. But this is great, isn't it? Except in a mud really muddy towpath. It's yeah, because it's got it's got little little wheels. Do you want me to grab your suit suitcase? Yep. Oh no, I need your help for that. The thing is, sitting on top of it. I know. Okay. What can I say? What can I say? <laughs> we have a very exciting surprise in the van. <laughs> Hello. It's massive though, isn't it? Massive. What the hell is that beast in there? So Himiway have been kind enough to send us one of their e-bikes. It's a very, very special gift and we feel very, very privileged and very grateful and thankful for this incredible gift. And it is their all-terrain electric fat bike. So Fat boy. We're going to be... Uh, it's going to tear up the towpath, eh? I'm not going to tear it up. <laughs> but it should be able to handle all-terrain, which is really good for us because as you've seen since you've been with us from the start, we go through all kinds of terrain on the towpath. <laughs> so hopefully this will help us when we go to retrieve our van next. Yeah, sometimes those journeys are long. They're very long. So yeah, we're gonna install this in the next few days. Um, but for now, it is leaning on your suitcase. So uh, I'm gonna take the camera now and you can get it. <laughs> Come on then. There you go, buddy. Oh. <laughs> Oh. Nice like one. handle right now. Thanks, buddy. All right. Although we're home, we're not really home yet. We still got a last ditch effort. Most people we know drive up to their drives, get out the car, and a few steps, and they're at the door. Oh no, it's not like that here. So we are all packed up and ready to start wheeling. All of that, this, my backpack, and uh, Josh and all of his stuff, back to the boat. Might look like we're be making a big deal out of this, but you guys know when you've been away on a trip or something, <laughs> you come back, the last thing you want to do at 20 to 9 at night <laughs> is do this before you've had any dinner. So that's why we look like drama queens. Oh, look, birds. <laughs> oh. oh. Oh, I'm gonna check. It's locked. It's locked. <laughs> it would help if we actually grabbed the boat keys, which we left in the van. <laughs> Voila, found them. Don't know if you guys have ever seen this before. Josh may have mentioned it, but these little cork balls go on every set of keys that we have so that if we drop them in the water, they may have a chance of floating if but a little bit. Um, but we have a big magnet to be able to retrieve them if they do fall to the bottom of the canal. House keys! Might need them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> still growing. Do you reckon it'll ever stop? It's absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Look at that. It's just We'll constant. be living in Jurassic Park. You can so. barely see the boat. <laughs> yeah, you can't. I can walk around naked again then. <laughs> You're covering the windows up, that's it. There she is. Our beautiful floating home, Inca. Blue's not my colour, but it looks... It looks reason, pretty smart. Really it looks all right. right now, it does. It? But yeah, we do want to change her eventually. How do you feel to be back? 
really lovely. I mean, I had the apprehension driving back here, thinking, oh God, what are we going to be faced with? We've still got to head in yet, don't we? I mean, how can you not feel relaxed being here? I do feel nice. Yeah, it's a lovely evening, isn't it? Just to know that this is where we live now. You can just stand outside and be like... Oh. Yeah, it's a good feeling. Chill time. It's a good feeling. Right, should we open this door and see what we're faced with? Oh, yeah. Come on, then. Seen this there, Willow? Ready? Do, 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 do. Oh, oh, the midges! Oh. Growth. <laughs> what did you What oh, did you plant? I've got some beetroot here. All right. And a bit of lettuce, which you can't really see, but oh. it's, it's very dry. <laughs> it needs some water. Success. I wasn't planning on planting anything this year because we have so much on. There's so much going on, guys. Lots. Lots to tell you. Um, I just thought I'd just chuck some things in the pot and just leave them to it and they've done so well, except they are seriously thirsty. So I'll have to get, and a bit weirdly spaced. Um, I planted these and then we had a rainstorm, the hailstorm the next day, freaky wet winter. Um, yeah, freaky you guys weather. saw it. Yeah, freaky weather in spring. And um, it just sort of moved all the seeds around because it like pounded the soil. So that's what we have, but it's great. Well done. There we go, you can just about see the gangplank through there. Oh, fishes. Are you going to go? Be careful. We know your history. <laughs> Our van key's hanging out your back pocket. He's on safely. There's a lot of midges around, eh? A lot of midges, yeah. But we're not on a lean, which is great. Okay, scrap that. We're on a massive lean. <laughs> I think our lines, we left them pretty loose, but the water level must have dropped whilst we were gone. But oh, it's so peaceful. Look at this. How's the serenity with all the midges? <laughs> Let's get this stuff on. <laughs> all aboard. There's some bags. Oh, so I'm a bit geeky, but I'm just checking the batteries. We got the app now. Mind you, that's the only way we can see. So, click the Roma app. Coming into the There room. I am. Hi, guys. <laughs> we haven't got the proper camera out, have we? <laughs> All right, so we can choose one of the batteries. What do you reckon? We've been away. A lot. Please give us a lot. 99? Yeah. 99% uh, guys. We have a good electrical setup. Look at that. 99%. And that's on just one of the batteries. And yeah. um, battery two. We 99 as well. Hey. We don't have to worry about a thing. Right. Come on. Sorry. My bad. I got distracted. We of course, we've got fresh washing. Any opportunity to put a wash load on? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Mum and Dad. <laughs> Here we are. Thanks, buddy. So now we're going to have to loosen our lines because we are on a mega lean. <laughs> and turn the gas on. This shows you how much of a lean we're on. Look at that. Oh, maybe not. Oh, sorry. Oh. There we go. <laughs> that bring back memories, guys. <laughs> From our first ever vlog. <laughs> Thermals. <laughs> so there's a bits over the roof. You've got to be house proud. That's it. You're going to sort out the lines while you're out here. Hey guys. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Good, man. How are you, sir? Yeah, not bad. Oh, I'm envious of that. <laughs> Lovely. Where are you going? To the pub? <laughs> yeah, the pub at Honey Street camping there tonight. Are you actually? Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh you guys have got it going on. <laughs> See you later, buddy. See you, take care. 
doing a little bit of rearranging on the roof here, trying to make it look a bit tidier because we're planning on painting the boat soon. So we need to see what we're dealing with on the roof. Thank you so much for joining us this week on our travels to Hastings, Glastonbury and then back on the boat. We love having you along with us and a massive thank you to everybody who bought us a cup of tea this week. Your support is incredible. Much love. Next time on our narrowboat, Josh gets his granddad's old fishing rod out for some canal side fishing. A couple of familiar faces cruise past for a cup of tea. We finally get to do a wash load after waiting nearly six months. And last but not least, we install our new composting toilet. See, See you Sunday! Sunday.